Good morning and welcome to your first in 10 recap. I'm Hudson House Sherrick with week one down. Spanish Fort came into last night 1 0 against a St. Paul's team that took its first loss in 16 games last week. The Saints looking to right the ship. It's our Fox 10 game of the week. The Saints finished last season winning the 5A state championship in nine years under head coach Steve Mask. St. Paul's has been dominant going 102 and 22 overall. They also lead the all time series against Spanish Fort. The Saints looking to extend that lead and right the ship. The Toro started the season off strong last week with a win and have nothing but a state championship of their own as a goal. It was a non-region game, but a win would put Spanish Ford at 2-0 and give them the confidence they needed to reach that goal. Two of the top teams in the area going at it had all the makings to be a thriller on Old Shell Road. Let's take a look. The St. Paul Superheroes hoping to smash the Toros in this matchup of Region 1 powerhouses. First quarter action, Brendan Bird finds tight end Cooper Wilson up the middle for the touchdown. Toros out to an early 7-0 lead. On to the second quarter, John Holiday fakes the handoff, rolls out, and hits his tight end. Jack Stowers over there for an easy touchdown right at the camera. The point after is good. We're all tied at 7. Third down for the Toros on the next drive. Bird unloads a beauty to Godfrey, who hauls it in at the Saints 37 yard line. Toros advance to the two yard line when Bird takes it straight through the defense. The quarterback keep, get the lead back. Spanish Fort not slowing down at all. 10 seconds left in the first half. Second and goal, Bird calls his own number again. He runs it in for the third touchdown of the night. Toros take commanding three touchdown lead. And they finish this one out 42 to 7, going to 2 0 on the season. Now on to Theodore at Baker. Big night out there. Theodore's Kirsten Rogers. Long run here. Check this one out. This is late in the second quarter. This will set up a TD. Now, Wildcat Rogers will take it in from three yards out. 17 29, Theodore leading at halftime. Baker. We'll try for a long pass. This one, though, nearly picked by Cameron Pruitt. Let's try the Wildcat again in the third quarter after we get done doing some push-ups. Snap goes high. Rodgers does recover, but tackled almost immediately, setting up a punting situation. This one went down to the wire. Theodore, though, pulling it out. 36-31, the final in that one. Now, on to the Eastern Shore, Jubilee Stadium. Davidson at Daphne. Warriors visiting the Trojans. Dafty's first possession pitch it out to Tyler Bradley, who gets to the edge, turns on the Jets. Now he gets rocked at the goal line, but he's in for the touchdown. 7-0 Trojans. Oh, yeah, they're excited there in Dafty. Now another handoff to Bradley. He'll make a couple nifty moves. Gets a quick 20 yards on that one. And later in the drive, Caden Pierce throws a beautiful deep ball over the middle to number six. Young there for more points and the extra point would make it 14 nothing and that was just in the first quarter Daffy went on to route Davidson in this one 54 to 14. Now we've got Bayside hosting Houston Academy. Admiral's trying to drum up a win against the Pirates. Now late second quarter Bayside up 21 nothing Houston Academy driving ball tipped intercepted by Day Bayside's Davis Kane. He's looking to run it in for six but wait a minute there's some laundry on the field. Score remains 21-0. Third quarter now, deja vu all over again. Pirates pass tipped in the air. And who comes up with it? Davis Kane. A couple plays later, Zach Kittrell keeps it. Check this out. He makes a couple misses up the middle, bounces it back outside right towards the cameras there for you. He's gone 53 yards, touchdown. And the Admirals get their first win of the season, 28-6. Big win for them. Another week in the books. Thanks for joining us for all this fun we've had. Be sure to tune in every week for the best in high school football highlights. This has been First and Ten. Enjoy your weekend.